Probably gonna make a liar out of me now. <clears throat> Now it's working. Must there you go. That's me holding it down. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end off. Uh, just take a look at the brushes. Freaking trash can is always in my videos. Got them out. Yeah, I'm going to take that bolt off first. Uh, I don't know how pliable that rubber is. Plus, I can't do it one-handed anyway. I haven't pulled it off yet, but... <clears throat> There's some corrosion in there. One thing I was trying to avoid, but I couldn't get that off was disturbing this. I didn't want to disturb this. I kind of wanted to do one thing at a time, put it back together, test it. Um, me just taking this off and putting it back on, pretty much going to clean it up, but I don't really see anything too crazy there. And the brushes, brushes are worn. That one's kind of worn. And stuck. So how about that, huh? I might I might see if I can get some brushes for this. Save myself a few bucks. You buy a remanufactured one, that's all you're gonna get anyway, new brushes. But how about it? Stinky. And, uh, and my ball is still in there. Gear reduction. I don't think I want to take it apart any further than that. Here's my ball. Don't want to lose that. But I will be getting a new starter. I lose that. Cleaned up the surface. Is this the right way to do it? Probably not. But I did it anyway. Um, used a little bit of sandpaper some fine sandpaper clean those up got the shiny spots off of there got the burrs off of there cleaned them up make sure there was no uh, carbon uh, stuck in the springs and um, you got to clean the rest of this up clean the inside there and then uh, put it back together and check it out all back together <clears throat> all cleaned up inside Whew. didn't like that I don't know what all that was in the beginning there. It did spark right here, so I don't think I had a good connection there. But now I'm getting uh, it's working every time now. That's a fix. I want to save that first. Right there is a nice turn on. Right there. Okay, let's zoom in on that. Yep, nice turn on. Got a little hump. A little hump there. Yeah. Man, I haven't taken one of these apart since, since like tech school, so 
really I can't do anything. It's a bummer. I was hoping maybe I could uh, disassemble it enough to see if I can get to these contacts that are here. Couldn't get to the contacts. I sprayed some deoxid down into the uh, bore, hoping maybe it'll migrate down here. I don't know if it will, but figured I'd give it a try. It looks nice there. Come on, next screen. Everything looks good. Let's take a look at this turn on. Take a look at a couple of them. They all look pretty good. Let's take a look at this one. Yep, looks pretty good. And this is about, solenoid comes on right about 19 amps, which is pretty good. Cool beans.